This video is a guide for the Void Bow, also known as Call of the Void. Let's begin. The Call of the Void and Void Bow can only be found on Broken Citadel, meaning it's an Echoing Void DLC exclusive. The Void Bow is the common variant of the Call of the Void. When you pluck the string of the Void Bow, an unsettling silence reverberates across the battlefield. Essentially, this bow has a tier 1 void strike implemented onto it. This means that you'll be able to do extra damage when you hit an enemy. So if you shoot it once, it is now void touch. When you shoot it again, it, you will deal extra damage. Now let's check out the unique variant. The unique variant of the void bow is called Call of the Void. It has a tier 1 void strike and it also has a tier 1 fuse shot implemented into it. You can feel the void whispering from deep within this bow, but behind that sound is another voice in the darkness. This essentially means that every 5 arrows you shoot, you will be able to deal some explosive damage as well. It does seem that the fuse shot is not affected by void strike, so it will deal regular damage no matter what. With the right enchantments, you certainly can deal a lot of damage with this. Not only that, if you shoot and then use the Void Touch and then, I don't know, maybe use a weapon, you could deal a lot of damage as well. So this bow is definitely useful and is definitely really good for Apocalypse Plus difficulties. Now let's review some enchantments that I recommend to use for this bow. For the Call of the Void and the Void Bow, I recommend enchantments like overcharge and supercharge that increase the amount of damage you do. However, you can also have stuff like roll charge and critical hit, although I do recommend critical hit to not be your first option, as it is a chance. I also don't recommend roll charge to be your first option, as if you have overcharge, it might take more than 3 seconds to charge. Now, just because I said you shouldn't have roll charge as your first option doesn't mean you should not get it. Roll charge would be very useful in rolling builds, so definitely if you have a rolling build, get it. However, one thing that I highly recommend you do not get, no matter what, is critical hit. Due to the 20% chance to trigger, if you have bad RNG, you might not get it for a while. So in my opinion, it's best not to have critical hit, and to instead get a different enchantment. With the right enchantments, you certainly can deal a lot of damage. So now I'm going to show you some enchantments that could be very useful and very powerful with the Call of the Void. The first enchantment is Levitation Shot. With the Void Strike and then the Levitation Shot, you can definitely deal a lot of damage. Keep in mind you do have to roll before you can attack with Levitation. Essentially, the Levitation Shot will make sure that the enemy takes fall damage after falling, and then you can end them off with another shot or with a melee weapon. I also recommend Chain Reaction, because if you shoot an arrow and it ch triggers a Chain Reaction, you can have 5 enemies Void Touched, making it easier to kill them. Keep in mind that this is a percentage, so you this might not always happen. One enchantment that I recommend you always have on a Call of the Void or a Void Bow is the supercharge. This increases the amount of damage you do whenever you deal a charge shot. So I highly recommend this one. Combine this with the Void Strike and Fuse Shot, you will definitely most likely be able to kill the enemy very quickly. Don't have supercharge? Don't worry, you can have overcharge instead. This allows you to charge up 4 times at tier 3, dealing more damage. If you have supercharge and overcharge, I recommend getting both as you can deal almost a lot of damage and perhaps even 1 million with the right enchantments. Combine this with the Call of the Void enchantments, you can probably one shot an enemy. Want to shoot more powerful arrows? Then I recommend Multi Shot. This allows you to shoot 5 arrows at once, which can deal a lot of damage. This is a percentage enchantment, so this might not always happen. But when it does, it's powerful. Want to kill those pesky enchanted mobs quickly? Then I recommend enchanting. This will allow you to deal bonus damage to enchanted enemies. Combine this with the Call of the Void enchantments, this will be very powerful against them. Want to kill multiple mobs with one arrow? Then I recommend piercing. This will allow your arrows to fly through multiple mobs, killing lines and rows of mobs, which can make it very powerful. Although I didn't recommend roll charge, I do recommend artifact charge, because this will allow your next 3 attacks to be charged on tier 3, making the time it takes to shoot your arrows less. This enchantment will be very useful if there's an artifact used very often. 
want to really deal some damage, then I recommend Dynamo. With this enchantment, every time you roll, it will deal some extra damage. Stack it to the max, and you could probably one-shot most mini-bosses. And perhaps even some bosses. So this is a strong enchantment. But this enchantment doesn't really work well on swarms of enemies. Unless you're using a Torment Quiver, so keep that in mind. And those are all the enchantments I recommend. Now, let's use this bow on the Mushroom Monstrosity. I don't have many good enchantments, but I do have Overcharge, so that's a plus. I'm gonna take Levitation Shot, Overcharge, and Critical Hit. Keep in mind that I still don't recommend Critical Hit, but since I don't have something else there, I'm gonna take Critical Hit. I will not be talking during a Mushroom Monstrosity fight, so it's gonna be no commentary gameplay. I'll be back for the outro. Some parts didn't go as well as I expected, so there may be some sped up parts. So as you can see, the Call of the Void can be very powerful. Now if I had Supercharge on this, I could probably go up to 1 million damage every single time I hit it when it's Void touched. But since I had Critical Hit, I was able to deal some extra damage with it. So definitely the two enchantments that you should almost always have should be Supercharge and Overcharge. The third enchantment slot could be anything I recommended. Such as Dynamo, Piercing, and Multishot. This bow definitely will be very great in Apocalypse Plus, especially when dealing with strong enemies. So if you get this bow, don't miss out on it. Don't salvage it immediately. And that is the end of the video. If you have more enchantments that you recommend for people, feel free to share it in the comments below. The Void Bow slash Call of the Void is definitely a bow that I recommend you try out or use frequently. And I do think that it's going to be very useful for you on Apocalypse Plus difficulties. This is going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. This is the Drifting Lemur. Goodbye.